What if all we had was a few thousand dollars and a closet to work with? Could we still create a clinic that would provide some number of services that would be useful to somebody in, say, Sub-Saharan Africa? The overall goal of Charity Vision is to bring eye care solutions to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it, and to do it in a way that is sustainable, that emphasizes the locals and the local infrastructure, so that even if we leave 20 years later, this thing is still going on and helping the people there. Well, the problem is, is that everybody had smartphones and these different devices to take pictures of the person's eye, because we're doing eye care. So they would take a picture of the eye and they would send it back to the doctor, but the doctor would look at a picture of the eye and it would be blurry and there's lots of glare. It's actually kind of hard to get a picture of the eye. And so we talked with Capstone about creating a camera that would be specific for us, a camera that would either connect to or somehow sync up with a phone or a tablet that would be cheap and that would take a good quality picture so that these nurses who aren't trained photographers or anything could get a quality picture to send to the doctor. I think this project will have a lot of impact, especially in rural areas. Uh, one thing that the United Nations has said is that eye care and quality eye care is the pathway to all the other sustainable development goals. And so having people receive quality care is really important. People go into an eye care clinic in a rural area, this device takes a picture of the eye and it gets sent over an app to a doctor and the doctor can be anywhere in the world. Having that quick turnaround for a diagnosis is a lot cheaper and a lot faster so people can get the exact prescription they need or be assigned to a very specific surgery quickly and so then with improved eye care they can get a better job, they can improve their well-being for themselves. Since there are so many moving parts in different um, sections of the project, there are a lot of complications that we face. There's a lot of redundancy in our team, so there's people that work on different sections within the project, but they can also add value to other parts. And so if I'm confused on something with programming, I can go to Josh, or someone on hardware is having problems with the electronics, um, then Jared can come in. So we can always bounce ideas off of each other, and that really helps out in those complicated situations. Our team is amazing. Everyone is very intelligent, very capable, and I think without every member on this team, this project would not be nearly as successful as what, it, what it's turned out to be. I think probably the most rewarding part of this experience has been being able to meet our key success measures, the, the measures that indicate that we've succeeded in creating the product that our sponsor wants, and that will be useful to them in helping them to help people around the world. My favorite part about working with Capstone has been being able to see this product come from the ground up. It started as just an idea. Um, our sponsor came to us and said, this is a problem that we have with our eye care system that we're currently working on. Could you guys come up with a new solution? It's been really cool to see the students rise to that occasion and develop a new awesome system that works significantly better than what they've been using so far. And so it's really been cool to see it developing from just a small seed of an idea into an actual product.